Hello dear students, now uh, since we have seen all the introductory part relevant to our subject of neural networks, we will slowly now dive into what exactly neural networks are. So for that we have a very interesting topic today. Uh, today we are going to see what are the differences between a biological neuron and an artificial neuron. Alright, so we are going to see one by one first what is a biological neuron and then what is an artificial neuron and then how neural network imaged, uh, emerged out of an artificial neuron interconnection. Now uh, before I dive into this let us have a brief uh, uh, introduction to biological neuron. So we all know that our body is entirely controlled by the brain. So what is brain? Brain is nothing but an interconnection of several millions of neurons together. So all these neurons they trigger and activate some or the other body parts of our and they help to manage and control our body part. In, in a way it helps to coordinate all the uh, parts and functions of our body and thus how her human body is controlled by the brain. So artificial neural network or artificial neuron is also inspired by this strategy of working of our biological neural system. Right. So with that we are going to first see what exactly is a bi biological neuron. The name biological neuron or henceforth a normal neuron that I will be calling it. Neurons are the basic building blocks of our nervous system as we already know. Now these neurons they receive and transmit the signals to different parts of the body. Now this is how a biological neuron looks like. So you have got you are seeing here there are different uh, parts of a single biological neuron. You are you have the main parts that I call now are dendrite, soma, axon and nucleus. Now when we see the working of each we are trying to get an inspiration of an artificial neuron from it like how it does interconnection, how it does processing all those things. So this is how a biological neuron looks like. Now uh, if I talk in detail about it then in this particular biological neural network that I call the processing is carried out entirely through these neurons and its interconnections. So you can see here the dendrites they are nothing but they are the receiver of signals from the other neurons and once it receives the signal from other neurons you can see there are so many dendrites. Once they receive these signals then there is this nucleus um, uh, and there is soma. Okay, so soma is going to sum all the incoming signals, sum is it, it totals, it uh, uh, adds all the signals that are coming together through the dendrites and then it transmits that information uh, to the other cells using this axon. So in a way uh, it is going to decide which part of the body is this information from the brain is going to, that is going to be done with the interconnection of neurons. Now we all know that there are several millions of neurons, neurons in our brain. So the message which is intended for a particular body, body part is going to track through the path of interconnection of these neurons. So at a time not every single neuron is getting activated. Uh, the message which is supposed to go to that body, body part only those interconnections of nerve cells or neurons takes place. So you have to understand that human body also receives information from other neurons. It processes the information and then it transmits the processed information to other neuron and in a way we are going to decide the next chain of neurons are supposed to be triggered or not based on which body part the information wants to go. I hope it is clear. So this is the motivation for artificial neuron also. So when you have a neural network where you have lot of artificial neurons it is going to take the information, it is going to process the information and it is going to decide which next neurons uh, it is going to trigger in order to get what is required to be done. Okay. So, Quickly moving to artificial neuron, you can see this is an artificial neuron. It is nothing but a connection point or a node of an artificial neural network. So you could see here there are several inputs from x1 till xn, x1, x2, x3 till xn 
coming and getting summed over here okay now they these inputs can be given certain priorities also certain weightages also so thus every input is combined with a weight associated and then these product of input and the weights individually they all get added together and then you also assign a logic function telling that based on this summed value what is going to be our next output okay so that logical function here we are calling it as an activation function you could also see that apart from assigning weights to these inputs you can also have a bias here these things we will study in detail also but right now for your knowledge i am telling you what is bias bias is going to control this activation function and you can decide the rate at which you can trigger or fire the next neurons that come into picture so with the, this is like a constant value or an offset that you are getting added that is getting added to this uh, product of weight and input and there ultimate sum over there to that you add an offset that is a bias and this is a logical function which is going to decide the next plan of action for you so this is how a normal node of an artificial neuron or an artificial neuron looks like now if i talk on interconnection of these artificial neurons then clearly i get a picture of a network and hence the name we call it as artificial neural network so artificial neural networks like the human body's biological neural network have a layered ar architecture one layer after another in one layer there will be several neurons in other layer there will be several neurons and then further layers so what are you going to do is you are going to work from layer by layer triggering nodes or neurons present in every layer and achieving what is required now each network node or a connection point has a capability to process input and forward the output to the other nodes of the network ann or artificial neural network is a type of neural network which works on feed forward strategy so what is this feed forward strategy wherein you will pass the information through the nodes continuously till it reaches output node so i just told it's a layer by layer architecture so first thing that you have will be input layers then several other layers and at the last you will have your output layer so what you are supposed to do there's a transition from layer by layer and information is supposed to carry out from from the input layer to the next layer to the next layer to the next layer and it keeps on forwarding this information unless and until it reaches towards what is need to be done that is the output layer thus the name is a feed forward strategy and this feed forward neural network if i call is the most simplest artificial neural network definitely there was research ahead definitely feedback came into picture but the very first kind of neural network or very simplest of all neural network artificial neural network is a feed forward strategy based neural network now if i talk about origin then i 1943 mcculloch spitz model came into picture which looks like this now if i compare this particular model with the the previous model then what is the difference that you could find it over here the difference that you could find here is this and also towards these weights now mcculloch spitz model if you can see it has got all uniform inputs and there are no weights associated there is no priority uh, priority to any weight and also there is no offset or a bias which is added that could influence the activation function here so this particular was the very first kind of a artificial neuron which was developed by warren mcculloch and walter pitt it is also known as an mp model so as i told you here in this particular model there was no proper learning so with the research going on frank rosenblatt then uh, he frank rosenblatt sorry he introduced a perceptron model so an advancement of mp model was a perceptron model which was the basic building block of current deep learning uh, modern deep learning okay 
तो व्हेन आई टॉक ऑन द परसेप्ट्रॉन मॉडल इन द परसेप्ट्रॉन मॉडल व्हाट यू सी इज व्हाट वेंट बिहाइंड यू नो जस्ट वी जस्ट सॉ दिस दिस इज अ परसेप्ट्रॉन मॉडल वेयर इन यू हैव सेवरल वेट्स व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद दिस न्यूरॉन एंड यू हैव एन नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स एन नंबर ऑफ वेट्स व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद इट एंड देन फॉलोड इट अप वी आल्सो हैव अ बायास हियर you can add an offset that could help you to uh, increase your rate of activation of a particular neuron so finally you have a logic function to take your decisions and then what you get is an output out of it that means whether this particular neuron is getting to be triggered or fired or not okay so what is this strategy that we are going to work with so if you can see uh, how do i uh, write my input for a perceptron model as a set of these inputs x1 x2 x3 so on up till xn and then as i told you you have a logical function that is an activation function which is going to map your x into your output y so this function is based upon certain parameters that we call it as theta so theta is nothing but parameters of this model which are nothing but your weights associated with respective input as well as bias so w1 w2 so on up till wn and bias together form the parameters of this model based on these parameters inputs will be applied a logical function and e an output y will be obtained out of this particular model and then what is this mathematical logic that you are going to apply the mathematical logic here is nothing but pardon for this this is weight transformed x plus b now for ease of use i am just expressing all my inputs into one vector as capital x all my weights into one vector which is w there's a single bias hence a lower case letter b so since i have x and then w i want to multiply them so for that i have to take a transpose of the weight so weight transpose into x for proper matrix multiplication and then i add a bias so if i want to put a expanded form of it it is something like this and somewhere you can also write it as f of x is equal to summation w i x i where i is ranging from 1 to n and then plus b even this works so there are three ways in which i can write down this mathematical model to obtain your output so the parameters as i already discussed with you are weights and the bias they determine the state of this particular neuron and the processing logic of this neuron is going to be uh, determined by fixing all these parameters weights and bias so you try to update these parameters later we will see how it gets done so you try to fix these weights and biases in such a way that you obtain the best outcome out of this particular model so this is how a artificial neuron model works uh, i suppose you have got a clear picture now on what is a biological neuron how did it motivate for the functioning of an artificial neuron and in later stages we are going to see how this food uh, feed forward strategy will change how well you will update these parameters called weights and uh, bias that is theta and how can you get a best out of an artificial neuron model that all we are going to cover in our upcoming sessions thank you